Welcome back to News here on the Rise News. Now, more than 400 kilometers away from the Polish capital, Warsaw, in Medic East Medica, on the Poland's border with Ukraine. More than 1.5 million refugees have crossed into Poland via Medica since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Nigeria embassy in Poland says it's also where Nigerians, African, and other refugees of color say they have struggled to reach because of the allegation of racism at the Ukrainian border. In an attempt to verify those claims, our rise international correspondent Adefem Miakinsaya has been at the medical border before briefly crossing into Ukraine, where she sent in this report. With temperatures falling below minus one degree, even as crowds huddle together in queue for evacuation coaches, there's little warmth to go around. This is Medica, a Polish town on its border with Ukraine, the busiest crossing point for refugees in cars or on foot. 1.5 million refugees have passed here, desperately fleeing the Russian invasion in Ukraine. What we're seeing now is the humanitarian side of war and conflict. Just behind me, you've got a massive queue of refugees who are hoping to get onto a series of buses and coaches that have been given to them so that they can make their way further into town. There is a, a vast crowd of predominantly Ukrainian refugees and you're expecting that because, of course, the war itself is happening in Ukraine. But uh, more than just Ukrainians have been affected by this conflict and we've not been able at this point to meet uh, Ukraini uh, to meet refugees rather of any other background away from the foot crossing there's also the border for vehicles which is where I find Christian Ugu the Nigerian ambassador to Poland for the past two days I've not seen any Nigerian coming to Poland and I decided uh, Medica is uh, the greatest uh, you know uh, crossing point for the blacks so I wanted to cross over to the uh, Ukrainian side, but the Polish people didn't allow me, in spite of my status. Ugu traveled with two other Nigerian diplomats and a driver. But the group were initially turned away at the border because his driver, a Polish national, was not with his passport. So what's the plan for you now here? I'd imagine that arrangements were made before you made this journey to Medica, only for you to be turned away at the border. What are you planning to do now? What options do you have? Yes, I've covered over 300 kilometers to come to Medica, and I must trek, because they said they can only allow me if I will use my leg to trek to the border. That is the next option I have. Instead of walking, the ambassador left his driver behind and along with one other diplomat returned to the border crossing. I ran after the vehicle and asked if I could join. They agreed. Together, we drove into Ukraine, immediately seeing more refugees pouring into Poland. Soon after, we're stopped at a checkpoint. We turn over our passports and then wait for approval. The ambassador saying he wants to see if any Nigerian nationals are stuck at the Ukraine border. After several minutes, a senior border officer makes communication, expressing concern over how allegations of racism could cause provocation they say they don't want, especially while at war. She admits Nigerians are known to come to Ukraine and peacefully study. But the opportunity to leave the diplomatic vehicle and inspect the border does not come. For certain, it's known that hundreds of Nigerian students remain trapped in areas of Ukraine, including Sumi. The federal government says plans are already in place to begin evacuating them. But here in Ukraine, unable to independently verify the presence of Nigerian or African refugees, we're diverted back into Poland where refugees suffering from freezing temperatures and trauma continue to seek protection from a war that has changed life as they know it. Adefemi Akinsanya, Arise News, Medica, on the Poland-Ukraine border. In the meantime, Arise International correspondent Adefemi Akinsanya is in Medica border and she joins us now to fill us in on the situation in on influx of African refugees into Poland. Adefemi, thanks so much for joining us on Newsday. What more can you tell us? 
Thank you very much. Well, it's been a day much like the previous two days we've been here. We arrived here in this part of Poland on the Ukraine border, uh, Medica, on Sunday. And as has been the case since we got here till today, there has not been a sighting of many, if any, African refugees. Um, you'll, I, you'll understand that Earlier this morning, when we were talking to the morning show, we were down at the very bottom of the foot crossing. Uh, we did speak to a gentleman who happened to be Nigerian, but also a Ukrainian citizen. He was there with his wife, who was Ukrainian, and their child. And they had crossed over into Medica and made their way onwards into Poland. And I did ask him about his experience living in a country like Ukraine, whether or not discrimination, racism is, some, is something that had been part of his story recently, especially against the backdrop of this war and he told me that that wasn't the case however he did hear and he was aware of that being the experience many Africans and Nigerians had faced when they tried to cross into Poland. You'll also be aware from the package there that we tried our hardest to get over into the Ukrainian side of this border to see for ourselves and independently verify whether or not Nigerians were there. It's still unclear at this moment but what we do know is that at this point with the fl influx of Nigerians that have already crossed into Poland Poland, it's believed that the reason why they may not be as many people crossing into uh, Poland nowadays, today, yesterday and the day before is because the, the bulk of them have already done so and those who are still stuck in Ukraine, should they be able to make their way out into another Eastern European country, it's unlikely to be Poland because of the geographical nature of where they are. Other Eastern European countries have continue to be a host country for refugees and that those countries are usually Slovakia, uh, Romania, Hungary and so we are it is likely that the influx of Nigerians should they still be crossing over they would be crossing over from, from different geographical locations including those countries I've just mentioned so as I said here if there are any Nigerians trapped at trapped at the uh, medical border we've not been able to see them we've not been able to apprehend them we'll speak to them but we are keeping our ears to the ground and we'll continue uh, trying our hardest to give a wider base of a spectrum in terms of how um, the the people who are affected by this conflict the refugees how they're being adequately represented and looked after it is also worth noting though that poland has been commended by almost all of the nigerians i've spoken to in terms of the 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 level of humanitarian effort and care that they've received and that seems to be the consensus with many of the refugees here just over my shoulder you'll see that still there continues to be a, cr a crowd of people gathering down at the bottom of this hill those are people who have just crossed into poland Poland by via foot via the foot uh, path there and they're getting onto buses buses are taking them into the local train stations into the local towns and allowing them to continue to receive humanitarian care and when I say humanitarian care it's more than just the vehicles and the transport there's food there are piles and piles of clothes behind me there jackets uh, scarves shoes nappies lots of things you can see um, it's definitely free and able for people to go into these piles of clothing and take what it is they need there's a huge humanitarian um, presence too down at the bottom where you've got tents of people who are able to huddle together and be in the warmth if they do not want to queue for the buses straight away there's food available for them water uh, medical care too you've got police ushers all over the place so Poland has seemingly done a very great job of making Making these refugees here feel welcome. And Ade Femi, have you heard from the students from Sumi? I'm not too uh, familiar with the geographical uh, location of that, but any word of how um, any evacuation attempts for them? The latest we've heard from the students in Sumi, it's still very, very bleak and very unsettling. They still believe themselves to be trapped in Sumi, still believe that they're being treated and used as human shields. And we are unable to establish whether or not the evacuation process, well, actually, we do know that the evacuation process, as it uh, pertains to them physically being able to be removed from their bunkers and out of the places where they're keeping themselves safe, has not started yet. And many people are growing even more tense by the moment. Worry continues to grow with people uh, who have family members still trapped in Ukraine. Back to the geographical um, aspects of this. Should we 
have a situation and we're definitely hoping that that's the case that the people who are still trapped in Ukraine who are able to successfully make it out as safely as possible it's unlikely that they will cross into Medica it would just take too long for them to now start traveling southwards towards where this border faces or 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 whatever direction that may be what they will do is travel to countries most especially Slovakia Hungary and Romania and just talking about those countries Slovakia for example that has been a host country to many Nigerians but there's been a very dire situation happening in Slovakia now because first and foremost there is no Nigerian embassy there so for the Nigerians who have crossed into there who are looking for any type of protection from their country of origin it's very difficult to get that at this minute so you've got lots of students on the streets gathering together in churches and trying to stay as positive as possible until there's a viable alternative that pertains to them being able to come home back to Nigeria and come into safety that's also the case with more and more people gathering in countries like Hungary and and Romania but definitely because there are Nigerian embassies in both of those countries there's definitely a lot of worry going on in terms of what is happening to the Nigerian and African students still trapped in Slovakia with very little options in order to reach the embassy protection that many of their counterparts here in Poland have been able to easily do. All right, we must say we must commend your efforts talking of Adefemi. But let's talk about the um, ambassador that you hitched a ride with. Um, what's the latest from him? Are they, uh, has he actually briefed you on his progress so far? Well, when we both re-entered Poland after not being able to leave the diplomatic vehicle when we did cross over into Ukraine he went straight back to Warsaw it's a five hour journey some 400 kilometers and the idea was that initially what he was supposed to do is do some sort of a recce first and foremost to find out if there are any Nigerians trapped at the border but also test the process because on Wednesday it was believed that many other African ambassadors here in Poland would gather together with the Nigerian ambassador and travel back to Medica and see with their own eyes if any of their citizens are trapped at the border. So with what happened yesterday, with us being able to cross into Ukraine, us being met warmly at first, but then ultimately being denied the opportunity to see with our own eyes and having to take their own word for it, their own word being they had not seen any uh, Africans or Nigerians, any black refugees, uh, frankly said, uh, in any of the days yesterday the day before that or even today so going on to whether or not that decision that delegation of African leaders will still continue it's still unclear yet I will continue uh, asking the ambassador for any type of update as it pertains to that trip but it did sound as though if we're going by what he said yesterday it was unlikely that that trip would still happen seeing as he was unable to see citizens when he came to Ukraine himself Arise International Correspondent at Defemi Akinsanya, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday and please do stay safe.